Hi, my name is Philip. I don't have any fingers on my left hand, but that's okay. My name is Philip Bruce, and today I will be telling you a story. A story about society's preconceptions, as well as their misconceptions. A story about a world with limitless possibilities. A story about me. Whenever someone meets me for the first time, their first reaction is usually like, what's it like, you know, like, what's it like to not have a hand? Asking me what it's like to have fingers is like me walking up to you and saying, what's it like to have a tail? You wouldn't know because well, you've never had a tail, so I've never had hands, and it's kind of the same thing. There's not really a manual for how to have no fingers. If you look at a little kid, uh, whenever they were trying to learn how to do something, they look at other people, so I had to kind of think outside the box throughout my entire life, and I think that's really helped me become a more creative person. Ever since I was little, my dad's just been really into music. He set up a little small recording studio in our garage just for fun. It helps me get out my emotions whenever I need to, and it lets me express myself the way that I want. I play piano, I can sing, I play trumpet. I'm actually in the marching band at my school. Uh, I love going online and just playing games with my friends. Like, I can still hold a controller, I can still use a keyboard and mouse. Whenever I was first born, uh, my parents really were kind of scared. They didn't really know what to do because they had just had this baby and the baby didn't have any finger. One of the first things that the doctor said was, oh, we should go cut off his pinky toe and put it on his hand and use it as a finger. And my parents were freaked out by that. They were like, no, 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 no. He was just born. He's like a day old. That's just crazy. They'll, he'll figure out something to do. And I have. Uh, throughout my life, I figured out how to do everything my own way. I can play the piano, I can play the trumpet, I can go biking, I can sing, I make music. Like it's, I can do anything that anyone else can do. Or I think it's enabled me rather than disabled me. I was lucky enough to be growing up in a time where acceptance is a big part of who we are as a society and uh, I am able to just live out who I am as I want to. And I know that that's not the case for everyone. In fact, my mom actually met some woman, she had a hand who was just like mine. It seemed like she was about to cry, she got all sad. She was like, oh, are you, is he okay? Like, um, and that just kind of goes to show that not everyone is lucky enough to be as accepted as I am. And I think that's a problem. I think that needs to change. You shouldn't need to treat anyone differently based on whether or not they have fingers, whether or not they have a leg. Whenever you're kind of like out walking and you just look at someone, you kind of immediately make a judgment of them. Preconceptions are really bad and everyone seems to think that, oh, you don't have fingers, oh, you must be really depressed about it all the time, you must be really sad, you must have a bad life. People just kind of make these preconceptions that that is what defines me, but the truth is that's not what defines me. I define myself. If someone offered to give me a robotic hand or like give, give me like some real hand in the future, I would not take it. I would keep this hand. It's too, it's a part of me. I like it and I don't want it to go away. My name is Philip Bruce, and today I told you a story. A story about society's preconceptions, as well as their misconceptions. A story about overcoming challenges. A story about me.